Okay, well, um, I'm Roger Wilson Hines, and by I'm me, Margaret Wilson Hines, and we're going to run through briefly um, Thunder Screen Reader, which is our baby, and we're proud of it. Um, Screenreader.net we launched last year as a community interest company with the aim of promoting a, a free screen reader software package to blind people literally around the world. We, we believe in this, we, we know there's some good technology around for blind people but it's ever so expensive and the sheer high price of 800 quid in the UK excludes so many people. And as people who don't see ourselves we, we know the value of literacy this isn't really a techie computer project, this is a literacy, a reading aid project. We want people to have access to information, to be able to write letters, email each other, enjoy radio and massive information from the internet. With the talking computer, as long as it's affordable or free, blind people around the world can do this. If it's left to the commercial model, the majority, I mean 80-85% will be totally excluded because they'll never get to be able to pay the price. So we're, we're, we've, we've come to business with a kind of ethical stance. But we're having to learn the hard way to modify our ethical stance into good business. So we, we, we're on a steep learning curve here. Is that about it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is to now introduce the idea of Thunder, the talking screen reader. and. Uh, make a few comments which I think might be helpful to volunteers helping blind people to master the computer frustrations. And I want to say thank you first, you know, the people that you're going to watch this, you're good people, um, we, we appreciate that you give your time and want to do something for people who don't see. So the, the, the first trick is, I mean, it, it's so easy if you can see a computer screen, you see something you want, you get the mouse pointer on it, and you click and you get it, and it's kind of magic, isn't it? That's, that's the wonder of Windows. And, and we're, we're barred from that. We can't do that. We can never see where the mouse pointer is. So we've got to control everything from the keyboard. We've got to have in our head a whole series of keystrokes, Alt-F to open the file menu, Alt-E to edit, Control-P to print, and so forth, there are hundreds of them, and we've got to know the ones that we most want to use. Fortunately, they're, they're pretty intuitive. And fortunately, if you're helping a person who can't see, all the keystrokes you're going to need to teach those people, they're underscored, aren't they? There's an underscore under the F of file, and an underscore under the E of edit. So you don't need a mighty brain exercise to remember them all yourself. You can have the privilege of seeing and guide the blind person through the tasks they need to do. So the key is, forget the mouse, no rodents allowed, it's keyboard, all keystrokes. And I'm just going to go in now into the start menu and give you an inkling of how we get going with Thunder. Oh, incidentally, on the screen is our website, I hope, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this, our website is www.screenreader.net, just like the company is screenreader.net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into the internet and show you how we do it. I'm going to search for something and hope to find it and listen to what it is. So we should have some new information at the end of this little exercise. Um, I don't use the mouse to bring up the Start menu. I actually press the Windows logo key. Start menu, Start menu. And then by using the down arrow key, I can go and explore. Microsoft Word, BBC Listen Again, RSS News Reader, Accessible Radio Gmail, Internet Explorer, Web IE3 Web Browser. The one I'm going to use is the web browser called Webby, W-E-B-B-I-E. That's our way of accessing the internet. It's a text browser. The, the internet to a blind person is cluttered and complex, lots of colour, lots of small print, lots of pictures which are no good to us, so we need a text browser. We need our internet presented line by line, just words. So here I go, I press the Enter key. Web IE, Google, Webbridge, Google Link 1, personalised home vertical bar link 2, sign in link. If I left that to talk, it would talk the page for me. Um, so I've pressed the control key to stop the noise and concentrate. Now I'm going to do a web search and we've got an ingenious, customised way of searching the web ourselves. We're actually, for those that know, we're using the standard Google search, the and forward slash accessible. 
It's all the stuff we don't want away, so please don't tell Google. I, th I think they do know, and they're quite happy we do this for blind people. But it would spoil their advertising revenue if everybody knew how to do it. So here we go, we're going to do a web search. I press Control and W. Web -sark. Interestingly, it says Web -sark, but it's, it's learning to talk well. I'm going to look for talking books in the United Kingdom. So I type that in. Talking books UK UK and I press the enter key talking bookshop audio books on CD and tape list item if I arrow down our NIB talking book service list item I'll arrow down again our NIB homepage list okay I go back our NIB talking book service list that, item that's the one I want so I press enter on that web by e Google, Web IE, Web page, RNIB Talking Book Service Link 1, New Site Design Help Link 2, Jump. I don't want to hear the whole of the RNIB website. We have a way of getting to what we want to hear and bypassing all the links. We crop the page of all the nonsense we don't particularly want to hear, and that allows us to go straight to the text, in this case the talking book text, we want to hear about. So I press Control K to crop the page because I can't spell. Our NIB Talking Book Service. Summary. Our NIB's Talking Book Service. Auto down. Not by a subscription to the Talking Book Service for someone you love. From only £5.0 a year for anyone. With their own daisy. And so I've got my information on the Talking Book Service. And I could pursue that and find the phone number and pay my 50 quid and join. Well, um, listening to the radio is really a, a fabulous hobby for people who can't see. Um, and the internet radio has revolutionised our lives for this, for those of us who are privileged and can get it. There are literally 5,000 radio stations on the internet. And, and in the UK, BBC has a fabulous selection of radio and something called Listen Again. And this means that, well, we're, we're Radio 4 addicts, so we use Listen Again on Radio 4 and we, we can hear all sorts of important programs at the time of our choosing. And the computer allows you to do this. So we'll just have a look at that. Again, I'll go to Start Menu, and I'll, I'll choose Listen Again, and, and you'll be able to hear for yourselves how it all works. So here we go. I'll bring up the Start Menu by pressing the Windows Logo key. Start Menu, Start Menu. Microsoft Word, BBC Listen Again. So it's the, this is the one I want, so I press enter. Accessible BBC Listen at 8 a.m. news. List item. Now there are literally hundreds of things on the Listen Again menu, and I'll just arrow down and find something I, I like and go for it. A certain age. A dog's tail. A good read. A point of view. List item. A good read. I'll go, for, item. I'll go for a good read. That's a, that's a pretty good program. Okay, so I press enter on that. Thanks, Eddie. This is BBC Radio 4. Okay. Now here's Sue McGregor with another edition of A Good Read. Okay. Hello again. The way you and close welcome. it down, you with me in the press studio the Alt key on Arnold, function key 4. Alt F4 to knock it off. Not mouse click on the X and so on, as you're familiar with. So when you're working with blind people, there's a little bit to learn. So keep reminding yourself not to use the mouse. Go for the standard Windows hotkeys.